you know, the Titanic wasn't really as people think it went down. You know, those people on there, they were believing till the final minute that everything was okay. You know, there was a story one of the survivors was saying that he, you know, he had gone around and tried to wake people up and get people, you know, realizing that yeah, we're in deep trouble. Uh, he got, he tells stories. Those people were dead set on believing that everything was okay because their captain, you know, their, uh, their immediate God told them that, no, the ship's okay. Hey, we got a band playing. We got free drinks. Everything's all right. The ship's okay. Um, you know, who got off? Well, the first class, the elite, they got on a life, on a lifeboat. And the other people, there were no lifeboats for them. So what, you know, what would you have done in that case? Hey, I would have gotten a few guys or well, knocked out one of those, you know, they only had a few people on deck with a pistol. They're directing where stuff goes, get you a lifeboat. You know, and these people, I'm running into them now more and more around YouTube. They are, you know, these sheeple. They are the desperate clingers, and they'll drag you down. You know, that's the dangerous part about these people. And everybody says, well, you got to wake up the sheeple. No, they're, they're only there. To, they'll only drag you down. You know, and people talk about Alex Jones and and all these guys and Glenn Beck. And say, well, at least they're waking people up. Well, no, they're, they're not waking people up. You know, they're, they're keeping people. They're, they're telling you bits and pieces of things. But overall, they're keeping you on the boat. They want you to go down with the Titanic. That's the problem with these guys. They're not telling you what really needs to be done. Um, you know, you got to leave. You got got to leave those people behind, and, and uh, you know, fend fend them off for yourself. You know, I've just seen this, you know, day after day, and lately, you know, I think people are, I think people are losing it. And they're coming out and attacking you, you know, no matter what you say. And none of these people had done anything on their own. You go to their channel, these people that just harass you, tell you you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. When you go to their uh, YouTube channel, they don't have anything up there except a Hello Kitty video or something. Or some off the wall, just BS. But, but they know everything about what you're saying is wrong. They know that they know. You know, these people are the ones on the Titanic. They'll drag you under. You know, you know, I look around at most people, frankly, today. I look I look at the people around me in day-to-day, -day, and I don't really blame, you know, you can't blame the Illuminati or whatever, the elites, for wanting to take most of these people down. You know, damn, I uh, it's just unbelievable. I, you know, I had I had some girl yesterday. I never seen her before. Oh, I seen something you said, a comment or whatever it was, or a video. And well, what do you think about this? And I directed her. Well, here's what I think about this. I directed her some other something that I had saved in favorites or something. All of a sudden, this chick comes back. She's going off. You know, I mean, well, I ain't gonna argue about this, but I'll tell you what, you're wrong. And furthermore, here's a 500 po you know, word post to you and and three of them in a row, and I said, what the hell is your problem? You know, you got a problem with me? Leave. Get a, get out of here. No, no, she's going to keep coming back. I guess, I, you know, she thinks I'm the you know, husband she left because she's a hag and a herod and wouldn't leave him alone all day. Just, you know, we're seeing it now, you know, this country, we got under 1% GDP. You know, that that's where the Titanic is ass up in the air before it splits in half and sinks. You know, um, and the, the, see the captains in the media and in the government and all this, they're telling people, oh, no, all is well, you people. Oh, just go and drink, you know. We've got free drinks back on the, and a band playing. And, I, and uh, the band playing, you know, that's Glenn Beck and all these guys that are trying to keep, they want you to stay on the ship and go down because they just keep directing you back towards what, what. They, they'll tell you what is bad. But they're directing you back to the political system, which is the Titanic. And it's going down. And there ain't no, uh, you, can, you can stuff whatever you feel like into the 
the holes and try and play. It's going down. Um, you know, it's and this week, this is a biggie week. I don't know how they figured they're going to get around this week. I still haven't seen anybody tell me how with this Iran reactor coming on this week. They got to hit it before. Um, they got to hit it before it comes online. They can't do it afterwards. Uh, and everybody's, you know, uh, all you hear from the media is, oh, yeah, we'll go in and we'll strike Iran. And then I guess everybody just goes home. Everybody ignores what Iran, Russia, and all these people are saying. You know, this attack goes down, and Iran is not weaponless, you know. Everybody wants to act like they're uh, just sitting in some mud huts or over the, something over there. They got weapons. You know, they got, uh, they got advanced weapons. They got stealth tracking technology from the Russians using green lasers. Uh, they got these updated. They got new mini-subs with these 300-knot torpedoes in them. They got those, uh, they got those anti-ship missiles, you know, that can do a Mach 2. Uh, all, all, the, all Iran has to do, they'll block the Straits of Hormuz. And what you see the next day in this country is $7 gas, gasoline in an in a economy that has uh, one, uh, less than a 1% GDP. It's probably actually a negative number. We don't have anything without the government printing money. Um, but, you know, I'm just... I'm not paying much attention to these people that just insist, you know. They're out there just harassing you. They're All they're doing, you, you guys ever seen, if you, anybody lived in the South, you've seen a bucket of crabs? What happens whenever a crab is trying to get out? All the other ones pull them back in. Don't, don't get too wrapped up in these people, you know. And I know people probably feel sorry for them and everything, but forget it. There's nothing you can do about them. Well, anyway, kind of a somber Sunday video, I guess. But, hey, I'm just saying, you know, watch out for these people. And, and the people that are telling you, we've got to wake the people up, got to wake the people up, they're, they're the problem, and they'll get you killed. So just watch out for them. That's all I can tell you, you know. you got to just walk on by. So, uh, anyway, have a good weekend. Talk to you later.